know that if you put good Flash cartoons on your website that you can actually quit your day job and make a living out of it? Well, our next guest, they probably didn't know that either, but that's exactly what Matt and Mike Chapman did when they created Homestar Runner, and they join us now via webcam. Gents, welcome to the screensavers. How Hi, are we doing? on? Can people see us? They can see you through the miracle of technology. <laughs> How well can you see me? Uh, you, you look very nice, Homestar. Thank, Thank you very much. Now, now tell me, are you guys uh, too busy or too important now to join us in studio? Uh, is that why we're doing this over the uh, internet? Yes. <laughs> I'm way too busy. All right, now tell me, why and exactly how did you create the uh, Homestar Runner, the original site? Uh, uh, well, the Homestar was created out of boredom in uh, August of 1996. With our friend Craig. Craig. With our friend Craig, um, yeah. and we just made a little children's book. And then the website started in January of 2000 uh, out of boredom as well. Very nice. A lot of boredom. <laughs> what, now, what happened like. with, with Strong Bad? Why do you think his emails actually became as popular as they did? Uh, I don't know. I, think I don't they're think they're very popular. popular. Oh, of course, of course. They're really not that good, Homestar. <laughs> exactly. Um, it was the first thing that we did when we started updating the site weekly. And so I think that helped um, uh, make it more popular, knowing that it, usually on Monday mornings there would be a new cartoon. And, and so here comes Matt. Oh, oh. Hey, oh, Matt. Thanks, thanks for coming That's to the right, party, right. buddy. Uh, now tell me, w w what happened when Strong did Strong Bad just blow up overnight? Did it did it take a little while? It was there a, a long like while. did you did you wake up one morning and go, oh crap, now we got to make this stuff weekly? <laughs> no, uh, it took a while. It's, it's, what, we've been doing Strong Bad emails uh, for like two and a half years. Yeah, yeah I was living in New York, and we started doing the first seven. I think we did remotely with me recording the voices in New York, and then Mike would animate them. And then when I moved home, we figured it was time to step things up a notch, so we decided to start doing it. Or well, that was 2002? Three. Two thousand. Wait, really? The beginning, the beginning of 2003, 2003 we started doing... No, maybe uh, it was two. I don't, I don't remember. You, if we you, guys, should, you guys should really... You should Indian leg wrestle right now and figure out what year it is. I think that'd be great. Three, two. Now, you guys really upped the production value. I mean, quite a bit over the years. I've seen the cartoons evolved. Uh, now you guys have Teen Girl Squad, which is really... I mean, that's a graphic tour de force. <laughs> yeah, we spend a lot of time on those, as you can tell. Now, tell me about uh, the Teen Girl Squad. What is that, for those who don't know? That's a uh, comic strip that one of our characters created. Strong Bad actually created the, uh, the comic strip. Um, He's some type of wrestle man. <laughs> He's a red masked wrestle man. Ah. And so he made the, uh, the Teen Girl Squad. It's a comic strip. He draws on notebook paper. It's, he sells uh, it to indie record stores. There's the emo girl and the cheerleader, exactly. right? So what's her face? And right, sort of a cross section of, uh, of, of what we feel. feel. I don't, I don't know. know. We figured we were, we were going to be way off base because we don't hang out with so many teen girls, girls anymore. Unfortunately. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but teen girls seem to be big fans of it, so I guess we hit the nail on the head, or in some cases. Very nice. Now, what's your work day like? What is it like being you guys? Do you wake up and, you know, put on, like, a smoking jacket and then hang out with, like, play, Playboy models? Or I've got a brown terry cloth robe. Nice. Yeah. That's that's classy. Classy. Um, you have you have your own office, right? I mean, yeah. We recently we're uh, just uh, around the corner, about what twenty feet from, from our door is a bowling alley. Eighteen steps from a bowling alley. Eighteen steps from our front door. Uh, there's a bowling alley. So we're, so we're down, down underground, underground underneath this uh, strip shopping mall. And how have you managed to do that? There's so many dot coms and so many webtoons and so many multimedia sites on the interweb of information. What, what do you think has allowed you guys to do this? Is I think because we never planned to do I mean, it was always just something we did. You know, we did it out of you know, our own pocket and in our spare time for three years. And uh, then all of a sudden, we never, we never set, set out, out to do it as a business. It was just, that was lucky one day. Our dad was just like, you know, you guys are selling enough t-shirts to quit your jobs, probably. So that's what we did. Plus, we've kept his mom. I mean, it's our dad. I didn't have you know, that, that, speaks, that speaks volumes about, you know, the father who tells you, quit your job, don't worry about <laughs> yeah, it, hang out at home. So we, were, we always feel like all right, we, we have, have the dad that is almost too interested in our creative endeavors, like, like the dad that would drive four hours to come and, and, and see our crappy band, band playing, playing college and stuff in some smoky bar. bar. Very nice. Well, the, the Internet and the entire web owe your dad a huge thank you, and uh, we owe you one for coming on the show, so thank you guys very much. We appreciate it. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks a lot for having us on. All right, to find links... Uh, for more than you'd ever want to know about Homestar Runner, you can, you can check it out at thescreensavers.com. And if you have a question for Strong Bad, yes, a question for Strong Bad, send it to us. There's an excellent chance he'll be back later in the show to answer it. Now I'm back with Strong Bad from HomestarRunner.com. We've got him on the line and via netcam, Mr. Uh, 
bad. How's it going, buddy? What's up, man? How you doing? Ah, uh, you know, just doing the show, rocking the ones and twos. Great to be back on Pulse. Yes. We love you here. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let me ask you, uh, uh, Mr. Strong, are you ready to take a phone call from one of our, uh, our loyal viewers here? Oh, totally. All right. Joe joins us on the phone from Pomona, California. Joe, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All What's right. Up, you gotta... Joe from Pomona. Hello. You sound like a seven years old, man. Well, no, I'm not seven years old. Cool. Nice work. He clearly proved you wrong there. Yeah, so I can Wow, you, you got man. served, Strong Bad. I, a, a little bit, maybe, like a side of fries. Yes. Now, uh, Joe, you have a question for Strong Bad. You, yeah. you should ask it before he goes off. Yeah, I, why don't we ever get to see our parents? Ah. Oh, you mean the worst question I have ever been asked ever? Yes. Okay, uh, you know, that's such a terrible question. That's a perfect way to bring up how not to get your Strong Bad email answered. Wow. Like that one goes right into the deleted folder, you know what I'm saying? Wow, like that's... Who cares what my parents look like? Who cares what Charlie Brown's parents look like? What Bugsy Bunny Man looks like? Wow, that's, that's a sensitive subject there, Strong Bad. Yeah, look, don't talk about my mom. I, I, I wouldn't touch her. Not because I'm sure she's a beautiful lady. I'm just saying I wouldn't touch the subject of her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you try, you, try, you lay a finger on my mom. All right, Mr. we're going to move right along. We have Ed on the line from Troy, Michigan. What? Ed, you have a question for Strong Bad? Another one? Yes, I do. I'd like to know what operating system you are running on, Strong Bad. Oh, it's uh, 2S.0.5, uh, the upgrade, the 4 upgrade. Oh, I got wow, two dims of rims and a couple of mega chips of uh, hard time. Wow. Yeah, it's, uh, it's That's a... I souped it up. I, I got a putty knife at home like that guy. That's great, Strong Yeah, Bad. I can break open any computer you give me. Strong Bad, is it, now, have you ever been in trouble for hacking? Have you ever been accused of being a elite hacker? I, I've been in trouble for hacking on the neighbor's flowers and the bushes. Yes. And I got some hydrangeas <laughs> over there. And that's, we like don't like those. music. Yeah, that's right. All right, well, Strong Bad... Thank you so much for your, uh, your PC specs there and for taking our calls. We appreciate it. Big thanks to you and the Chapman brothers as well. Now, Sarah.